welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is from Crafties. They did send me this item for review, so thank you to Crafties. So I just noticed my tablecloth is a little skew. <laughs> Alright. So it does look like they changed their box. It's it's a simple white box now, but it isn't as squished as the previous times I've gotten it, so maybe. That's a change. Got, got everything. So this one, I'm trying to find the opening. This one is called Meat for Lunch by Penelope Hunter. It's a 40 by 40 and it's $39.98 on the website. Okay. Just going to roll it back the other direction. So, comes with a white boat, two plates of wax, two pens, one with a three-placer and maybe a six-placer, and a silver tweezers, and then two blue squishies here. And these are rounds, and I think with some specials. And here it is. Let me move you up a little. I thought it would be tall enough. It's these giraffes munching on some trees. Do giraffes eat leaves? I don't know what giraffes eat. I just know that their tongue is like black, right? Or is it purple, like a dark purple? So yeah, it's these giraffes here. There's 25 colors. It does look like the symbols are my favorite kind, one, two, three, and then A, B, C, and, and in alphabetical order. It looks like there is an A, B here, and then number three. So I'm guessing that's red, a red crystal rhinestone, because three is a red crystal rhinestone, and then there's a 996 A, B here. So symbol clarity. Man, that background you think it would be nice and color blocked. It's not really. There's a seven, there's a four, there's an F and a T. And then the giraffes here, it's very clear. I think. So it looks like there's 25 colors. Oh wait, did I, did I say that this is called Meat for Lunch by Penelope Hunter? This is about a 39 and a half by 39 and a half. So this one, actually, this picture was recommended by Crafties when they were asking me to do the pa PR package because they were like, it's it can be for like Thanksgiving since they're eating eating together, a family eating together. You think they're a family eating together? <laughs> Except, you know, this is the eating together for giraffes. I do like my animal diamond paintings. Okay. So here are the colors. Some brown, green, grays, brown, more browns, like a bluish green here. This is all one color. Yep, this is this must be the predominant background color. And here's the red AB. And if you're new to diamond painting and you're like, what in the world is a red? What is an AB? It stands for Aurora Borealis. And if you could see, it's actually more visible in the red. There is like a coating on top of the drill to give it kind of a... Um, I kind of think it looks a little bit metallic-y. A metallic-y um, coat... Um, over it and then it just shines differently when the light hits it. And you can tell when when the light hits an AB, you could see it kind of just kind of sparkle outside of the diamond painting, which is really nice. Okay, so here is the one of the specials. Oh, I missed this. So this is 15, so there's another rhinestone. I was like, wasn't the special the rhinestone a, a red? 
So here's some gray, blues, brown, more blues, lots of blues. And yeah, here's number three, red. Here, some blues, grays, and then more blues here. Oh wait, there's another AB. Yeah, 996 AB, so this blue one here. It does have a coating on it. It's not as noticeable as the red one, but I do see it on there. It just shines a little bit different. It catches the light a little bit different. So yeah, I think I, I will work on this. I think I'll work on it for Thanksgiving, right? It's a family sharing. <laughs> a meal together. So yeah, I think I think this will turn out it'll turn out like a nice a cute project, a fun smaller project. And because I do show finishes at the end, all well, I like to show finishes at the end. I do have a finish of a previous crafties. This one was done by my mom. And it's actually already framed because my mom framed it before I was able to even record anything. So here it is. This one is called Roses on Turquoise by Marla Gill. Um, it's a 40 by 50 and it's $45.98 on their website. So let's see. Yeah, I have, I have the information. My mom kind of dirtied the journal a little bit. My mom doesn't, my mom doesn't complete the journal as much as I do. So this is as much as you're gonna get. So it's about a 39 and a half by 49 and a half here. And it had 25 colors, 23 were round, two were crystal rhinestones. And my mom actually finished this back in June, 2022, and it took her six days to complete. And this is my mom's 101, 101th finish. 101st finish? I don't know, how do you say that? <laughs> my my mom's finish number 101. Yes, my mom has completed over a hundred diamond paintings. <laughs> yeah, let's just say a lot. So I think this one turned out really nice. The It's framed and it's actually um, up on my wall because it matches a piece of furniture I have that is a little bit, it's like turquoise and so she's like, I have to frame this and put it on top. I just came home one day and it was framed and put on my wall without, yeah. But I think it turned out nice. The background is really pretty. Um, you can see the flowers. Oh wait, I just see, I see. My mom has a tendency to accidentally put some drills upside down and I see one upside down right there. But it's already framed, so I'm not fixing that. Um, So yeah, I think it's it's pretty. You can see it has the green rhinestones here and then the yellow rhinestone here. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, see, and then they they shine a little bit differently than regular drills. Does this thing have any ABs? No, there's no ABs. So the two specials is this this green. Oh, I see another one upside down. Oh wait, see, I saw an upside down drill and another one right here. Um, the green rhinestone here and then there. I think that's why my mom liked doing the crystal rhinestone ones is because she could tell that the drill was not upside down because it has silver backing. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can't, like my mom's always like, it doesn't matter if it's not straight. You cannot tell if you look at far away. <laughs> no, I'm, so, so yeah, I think that looks really nice. I do kind of wish there was a little bit more definition on the flowers, but I think with the Quantity of colors, 25, it did pretty well. And roses tend to be pretty difficult, I think, to, to render. And, and the original image is a little bit faded, so you only could work a little bit with the original image. It is a little darker than the original image, but it could have been just my print quality and how my printer printed the image. All right, so there is that finish here. And here is the diamond painting for this unboxing. So that's all I have for today. So thank you very much to Crafties for sending these items for review. And thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.